Hello, it's Darren Ike from innovationtraining.org. Two of my favorite new technologies of the past handful of years have been real-time collaborative whiteboards like what we see here with Miro, and then also AI and some of these chat GPT tools. Now we have both of these together uh, and on a Miro whiteboard. So Miro has Miro AI. So here's how you get into it, right? I've just opened up any Miro board in my Miro account. And for me, it popped up as an option. Hey, here's uh, you know a little bit about Miro AI and I can try it now, right? So that's one way to get into it. And this is a nice way. It shows you a little summary of, of what Miro AI is about and what you can do with it. Another way to get into it is you go to your settings tab here and find the command palette, right? And click on that. And you can search for apps, actions, but right away is Miro AI and it gives you some examples of what it can do. So that is something that I really like is to go to the command palette and uh, find it there. And there's another way to use it too that I'll share with you. So, okay, so I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to close this and we'll see if we can just try it now right from the command palette, just in case we've already closed that out. Generate a sticky note. All right, I'll click on that. I accept the terms. Ask a question or generate ideas on a topic. Okay, so here's something I'm working on. I'm designing a storytelling leadership retreat to help leaders find stories, tell better stories, right? So I'm just going to be pretty general here and say storytelling retreat for leaders, right? Let's just see what it, see what it does. I hit, hit enter. And what will it give me? So this is going to be similar to if you were on chat GPT and you said, hey, give me some ideas for what we could do for a uh, storytelling retreat for leaders. All right, there we go. It gave me a bunch. Okay, so it, I think it understands storytelling. It understands retreats, right? I see some ideas that have both of these elements to it, right? So, okay. Reflect. I like that. Discover how to craft compelling narratives. Learn the art of storytelling. Engage your team. Start telling. All right. I like it. So I can do whatever I might normally do on a mural board, move things around, organize it. So here's another way I like to get into uh, the AI tool is when you click on anything, you'll see this icon here for Miro AI. So yeah, I click on it, see what the options are. Okay. Generate an image, add similar stick. All right, let's go more. I like that sticky note. Learn the art of storytelling to inspire and engage your team. Let's add even more. All right. So it's adding more, right? So you can keep going almost endlessly, I, I bet, right? And okay, I can even sort and cluster your sticky notes. Got it. All right. So I'm over here. Now we're zeroing in less on the retreat and more on the storytelling piece. Okay, I've got another option for AI here. Summarize. Oh, let's summarize this. Let's see what it what it shares. Okay, here's here's the main thing that this is about. Hey, maybe I'll make that green, right? To know. Okay, here's the the essence of all of these ideas is we're gonna do this. Okay. Well, let's see what else I can do here. What are some other options? Cluster by keywords. Let's do that. Okay. So it divided them up. These six were, you know, kind of related to the storytelling skills team. And these four are just random. You might see that when you're doing affinity diagramming. It does that. So one little tip that I like to use is you can hit the undo button on Miro to go back to where you were. So I'm going to highlight all these again and Let's cluster by sentiment. Let's see what that is, right? Okay, so most of these ideas were more positive in nature. Here's the one that might be negative. Eh, you know, just like ChatGPT and some other tools, it may not get it completely right, but it gives you a lot to work with. It takes that blank slate and gives you something that you can uh, ideate on yourself or develop or select. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to try it. Let's say I want to develop something further. Okay, develop your storytelling skills. I like this. I'm just going to move this over here. And let's see what other option I can get from Miro AI. Generate image. Let's try this, right? Maybe it's integrating with Dolly or something like that to pull up an image and throw it right on the whiteboard. Okay, here we go. All right. So let's say I'm building my... my uh, <laughs> 
I'm building my uh, concept here, developing your storytelling skills. Right? I can, you know, make this a little bit bigger, perhaps. And here, here's my concept, a very simple prototype of what it might look like. Maybe she's sharing a story and captivating and inspiring her colleagues here, right, in a team meeting. So pretty neat, pretty exciting to be able to just work on your mural board and add some things and do some things. So let me see, let's go back up here. We're playing along together. Okay, sequence diagram, image code, mind map. Let's do user stories, generate a card with user stories. So this is a little something different than we're talking about. So describe a product. Okay, let's say I'm gonna create a, a an app that captures your personal stories and catalogs them. Yeah, so this could be it, you know, if we're, ha if we're having a retreat, this could be a helpful app. Something that at least helps you catalog your stories and capture them. Okay, let's see what it, what it did here. So it created user stories. So we're in the agile world, right? It's almost like kind of the uh, agile or scrum methodology. Okay, as a user, I want to be able to capture my personal story, store them in the app. That sounds like a basic feature. I want to be able to access all of my stored stories. Yes, I want to have control over who can view or edit my stories. Okay, I hadn't thought about that, right? So I'm getting an idea here. So here we're just seeing how this kind of idea generation happens is we have one thing we're interested in. I want to help leaders find their stories, share their stories, inspire with their stories, and Miro AI is helping me to do this by giving me ideas. Uh, by sorting those ideas, theming those ideas, giving me images to communicate those ideas better, and even giving me user stories for a, a technical thing I might want to build, which is an, an app. Okay, so there's one other thing that I really liked about Miro AI too. You know, the command palette, this is what we're really using to help us. We could test out all these things, but I'll give you a chance to do that yourself. Generate mind map. I like this a lot. There's another way you can do it too, right? Is you can go into the templates. I always love the Miro templates. This is why I love Miro so much is for the templates. And I'm gonna use this mind map template, right? So you can see all these templates. I'm gonna use the mind map template, throw it right onto the board. Okay, it did. So I'm gonna give, give myself a little space here. So what is the problem that I'm working on that I might wanna expand out or mind map? So let's say that this is, um, so, so, so this, Miro AI experience is helping me zero in that there could be a real opportunity to zero in on storytelling techniques for leaders. All right, so let's, I always want to correct the spelling here for leaders and to inspire their team. All right, so that's kind of the essence of maybe what I've been learning from these ideas and these sticky notes here's the real benefit of this you know so if we can this is why we want to tell stories is to inspire others and specifically our team so let's see what it can do now let's click on this you can click on almost anything and Miro AI gives you some options so we've already got a mind map so let's expand it with questions right we've already gotten ideas we've gotten that sticky note style but let's see if it can give us some questions of different things we might focus on. And then we know if we have the question, we can use the tool to get ideas. Okay, wow, so this was nice. It gave us, it gave it to the to us in a mind map format, which kind of is nice, you know, with the connecting pieces. Okay, creative ways to use store, da, 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 successful leaders, would be, so, all right, so I'm just looking at this and saying, okay, here we go. So I'm gonna see if I can click on on this and get ideas. Let's try this out. Expand with ideas, right? So we've got a question. The next logical thing in our innovation step-by-step -step process that we teach is, all right, we have a challenge. We've defined specific questions, which are the real areas of opportunity. And now let's start to get some raw ideas. We're diverging and converging. Okay we generated ideas for effective storytelling techniques that leaders can use to motivate their team. And here's what Miro AI gave us. It gave us the ideas in the form of a mind map. We did post-it notes, sticky notes before. Hey, I kind of like this, right? We're seeing 
We're seeing the journey that you might take with an innovation challenge. Here's what we're working on. Here's our challenge. Here's a specific question of opportunity. And now we're diverging again with a lot of different uh, ideas. So just uh, a quick demo of Miro AI and some of the things you can do for your own projects, your own innovation work to be able to help the tool or to let you get help from the tool to generate and develop ideas. So this is Ben Derenike from Innovation Training.